Aurora Slumber Party. But she missed her fairy friends, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether. One day, Philip told her he had to visit another kingdom overnight. Why don't you invite the three good fairies to keep you company while I'm gone, he said to Aurora. That's a wonderful idea, Aurora replied. I'll send them invitations right away. Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether were excited when they got their invitations. But when they arrived at the castle, Aurora was wearing her nightgown. <coughs> Surprise! Aurora cried. It's a sleepover. You better change into your nightgowns, too. The good fairies quickly changed into their nightgowns and then used their magic to fill the room with music. In no time at all, everyone was dancing. The party was off to a great start. Aurora took each fairy by the hand and whirled her left and right. As she twirled Fauna, Aurora's nightgown suddenly turned a lovely shade of blue. Oh no, that won't do at all, Flora said. She pointed her wand at Aurora and turned her nightgown blue. Not so fast, Meriwether cried and turned it blue again. Back and forth, the nightgown went until finally it settled back to its usual color. Fauna and Aurora stopped dancing and watched the two fairies. You want to know then they one? looked at each other and grabbed their own pillows to join in the fun. Soon, the room was covered in feathers, and the friends were out of breath from laughing. All that fighting has made me hungry. Maybe we should go downstairs and make a snack, Meriwether suggested. In the kitchen, Meriwether made herself a triple-decker berry sandwich. It looked so good, the other fairies raced over to make their own. When Flora bit to hers, a dollop of cream flew across the room right onto Aurora's face. Oops, Flora said, I'm sorry, princess. But Aurora wasn't upset. In fact, she was laughing. Sleepovers were all about having fun, and she was having a great time. Let's read a story, Aurora suggested when she and the other fairies went back upstairs. She and her friends gathered around the bed, and Flora read to them. Soon the fairies began to grow sleepy. Flora set the book aside, and everyone crawled into their beds. But Flora couldn't sleep. She was still too excited from the night. She tossed and turned. She flipped the and then she accidentally bonked Meriwether on the head. Meriwether woke up and rubbed her head. Ouch, she cried. Why did you hit me? <clears throat> I didn't mean to, said Flora. It's just that I can't fall asleep. Well, no, I can't either, said Meriwether. All of their chatter woke up Fauna, who suggested that they try to <clears throat> the sheep to fall asleep. Flora and Meriwether agreed that Fauna's 
suggestion was worth trying. They lay down again to count sheep. One, two, three. Flora started to count, but all of a sudden her sheep turned blue. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Meriwether counted her blue sheep, and just when she had almost fallen asleep, her sheep changed from blue to pink. Blue, she cried, and changed them back. Pink, Flora said, and the sheep changed the color again. Soon the two fairies were sitting up and having another argument. But this time, they woke Fauna and Aurora. Aurora asked what was wrong, and the fairies told her about the pink and blue sheep. Maybe there's a better way to fall asleep, she said. Aurora sat up and began to sing a lullaby to the fairies. As her sweet voice carried across the room, the good fairies closed their eyes. Soon they were all fast asleep, even Flora. Oh, that's better, Aurora said, and then humming the lullaby softly to herself, she pulled up the covers and went back to sleep. Pink! <laughs>